Okay, I'm gonna get the uh, carburation figured on this bike here. It's my dual plug KR motor. So we're gonna take out the uh, those racing plugs I got in there. And dug it up on my old plugs I ran back in the 90s. Not that I throw anything away, obviously. <laughs> so these are some of the old uh, some of the old race plugs I used to use. So I'll dig through these, pick up a set. This is my old carburetor I used to run. It's the one I had on it here, right here. It's an SNS Super V. I think one of the reasons this motor's not running that good is that carburetor's way too big for it. So I'm gonna put my old 38 McKinney back on it. That'll uh, hopefully will help it out. <clears throat> so this is the manifold I had on here for the uh, SNS carb. So I'm gonna take that off and put it with the carburetor. So I want to run fuel in it for the next time I run the race. I'll have it. Whatever that'll be. This is my uh, old fuel carburetor, which was the McKinney with nitrous on it. That's when it went the fastest, went 152 with this setup on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these nitrous nozzles out of here, put this manifold back up in here. Still got the original mounting bracket hanging off I had back then. So. When you never throw away your old parts, you can always go back. Like I said, this motor just slipped right back in this chassis like it just came out yesterday, even though it's been sitting for you know, 12, 15 years, whatever it's been. So these are the motor mounts and stuff that came off the uh, big blue Sportster chassis. And this is all the stuff we've taken off that chassis that we're not using. We've got that big four coil set up in here, the exhaust pipe that doesn't fit on this bike. So we'll just throw it in the box and bury it for another few years until we need it again. One thing about all the Harley parts, the parts still work after they're old and rusty. It doesn't make no difference. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swap all this stuff out, and we'll show you what it looks like after it's got more of it uh, together. 